a Khan crime wave in London as suggested by conservatives on social media. Ahead of London's mayoral election on May 2nd, where incumbent Sadiq Khan is seeking a third term, social media posts have alleged that his eight-year tenure has caused crime to surge in the city. Many of these posts, some of which originate from conservative-affiliated accounts to support the party's candidate Susan Hall, are misleading. Logically Facts analyzes data to clarify the three most common claims about the crime surge. Claim Knife crime in London went up by 54% since Sadiq Khan was elected mayor in June 2016. Fact These figures are likely based on police data showing a 54% increase in knife crimes in London since 2016. However, this trend is not unique to the city. Nationally, knife crime in England and Wales has risen by 57% since 2016. Claim Violent crime is up 30% in London. Fact London experienced a 28% increase in violent crime from 2016 to 2023. However, this increase is smaller than other regions in England and Wales where rates doubled. Previously, the worst of all regions, in 2023, London ranked second lowest among larger regions in England and Wales for violent crime. Claim London's murder rate is higher than New York's. Fact This claim was based on murder rates from just February and March 2018, where London had 37 killings compared to New York City's 35. However, for the full year, Greater London had 134 murders, while New York had 295. The broader context, knife crime, violent crime and overall crime rates have increased in London since 2016 based on police records. However, similar trends have been observed across the country. Experts beg to differ. Further, experts at the Office of National Statistics have found that when considering additional data points like hospital admissions or estimates based on qualitative interviews, knife crime, homicide rates and overall crime prevalence in London have not increased since 2016.